Hi, you guys. Today I have with me problem 4.16 from Yang and Friedman's University Physics textbook. Before we get started, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you find my videos helpful. Okay, so an astronaut's pack weighs 17.5 newtons when she is on the Earth, but only 3.24 newtons when she is at the surface of the moon. A, what is the acceleration due to gravity on this moon? B, what is the mass of the pack on this moon? Okay, so this problem is a little bit more simple, but I think those videos tend to do well on my page. So I'm just gonna do a few more because maybe we need to get the basics down. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's write down all of our knowns. So knowns, oh, I'm not sure if I, sorry, I, I can't write now, okay. There we go. I wrote too close to an icon and it wouldn't let me write anything else. Okay, so knowns. What we know is that the, this astronaut's pack weighs 17.5 newtons when she is on Earth, right? So Fg, Earth, right? Because we usually use Fg for like force of gravity of, of like an object, right? So Fg, Earth, because this is specifically on Earth, it's going to be 17.5 newtons, right? but only 3.24 newtons when she is at the surface of the moon or the surface of a moon. Okay, so F G moon is equal to, what is F G moon equal to? 3.24 newtons. Awesome, okay. So what is the acceleration due to gravity on this moon? So what is G moon? right? And what is the mass? Sorry, what is the mass of the pack on this moon? So mass of object is equal to what? Okay, so now let's go ahead and do our analysis. So we don't really have to draw a picture for this because there's not really much to visualize. It's just something is on some surface, right? And it's just one, some force of gravity, right? We don't really need a picture for this. Okay, so now it's for like the analysis. If we want to get G moon, how do we do that? Well, first let's go ahead and recognize that we actually know what the formula for weight is, right? So we know that the formula for weight is going to be mass of an object times gravity on earth, right? And similarly on the moon, it's going to be the same thing, but just gravity of the moon. So it's going to be mass of an object times gravity on the moon, right? That makes sense. Now we're looking for G moon. We also want the mass. From here, what do we know? Well, we know what gravity on earth is. So let's write that down. And that's gonna be 9.8 meters per second squared. And yeah, there we have it. Those are our knowns in what we're looking for. So let's look at the first part of this question. What is the acceleration due to gravity on this moon? So if we wanna know what G moon is, right? I'm going to do that in a different color just so that a little bit more organized. So if we want to know what G moon is, right? Well, we have an equation right over here. F G moon is equal to mass times gravity on, on the moon. And we know that or to solve this, right, we have 3.24 newtons. And while look over here, we don't have mass, right? And we don't have gravity on the moon. So we can't really use this, right? So what we need is that to solve, or to get G moon, we need to find out what mass is. Okay, so how can we get mass? Well, we have mass right over here as well. So let's try that. So, F G earth is equal to mass times gravity on earth. And hey, look, we know what that is, right? So we just have to plug in our values because we have F G earth. So it's gonna be 17.5 newtons is equal to mass times 9.8 meters per second squared, right? And we're looking for mass. So we just isolate for mass. And we get, what did we get? 
going to plug that into my calculator. And we get 1.7857 kilograms, right? Okay, so now we have mass of this object. So now that we have mass of this object, we can actually plug it in. That was not a good arrow. We can actually plug it in, right? So we can say one point, okay, pencil only. I. The reason why there's so many weird marks is because I unchecked the pencil only option. So every time my finger touched it, it would just create marks. Okay, nobody cares. Awesome, okay, so 1.78, no, 1.7857 kilograms times G moon is equal to 3.24 newtons, right? And to solve for gravity on the moon, it's going to be 3.24 newtons divided by 1.7857 kilograms. And when I plug that into my calculator, I get that the gravity on this moon is 1.81 meters per second squared. So there we have it. The acceleration, sorry, the acceleration due to gravity on this moon is 1.81 meters per second squared. And what is the mass of the pack on this moon? Well, we solve for mass on Earth, right? But mass, remember that mass is always the same everywhere, right? So mass is um, like absolute. So mass on Earth equals mass on moon is equal to um, like the mass anywhere, right? Mass isn't gonna change, okay? And so the mass that we calculated over here is going to be, so this is part A and part B, mass is equal to 1.7857 kilograms. Awesome, okay. So that's our solution for part A and part B. I hope that was helpful. And if you have any questions, as always, you can always reach me in the comments or by email. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time. Thanks for watching.